So in this video we're going to take you through the quickly through the Albedo Ephigenius, give you a quick view of the main operation using the uh, different menus, how to move around the menu structure and some of the key operational functions. So first of all here we're going to show you the, the main start screen. This is what we call the, the home screen. You get to the home screen in a number of ways depending on what you're using. If you're using the keyboard on the front of the unit you press the home button or if you're using the touch screen you can uh, press on the uh, home uh, icon at the top of the screen. We're actually controlling the unit via remote control and this is an option on the uh, Albedo Ephigenius. If you have this option enabled then through the Ethernet management port on the unit you can just use a simple VNC viewer to view and control the unit. So on the home level, at the home, the top level of the screen we have five menus, setup, test, results, file and system. We'll go through those very quickly later, but I just want to show you how to navigate round. So once again, you can use the touch screen on the front to press particular icons, or you can use the the uh, buttons on the front of the unit to move around. Um, if we go into any of these menus, then main menus, for example, setup, you'll then find that potentially, depending on the menu you're going into, there are sub-menus which you can uh, move the cursor up and down. For example, we can go to Port A here. We can then enter, and there can then be sub-menus below that. So, for example, here, and we can go down a number of levels depending uh, depending which menus we've accessed. Now, it's very simple to to go back up a level just by hitting the escape key, or you can use the home key and go right back up to the, the top level. If we then press the setup key again, we actually then go back in. We enter back in where we exited. So if we were for example, two or three levels down, and we press the home key, then when we go back into that menu, we do go back down to the uh, the menu we last access. Now down the left hand side here, you'll also see that once we go into any of these menus, like the setup menu, we can access, still access any of the menus, the main menus, by just pressing uh, one of the buttons on the left hand side. And that, for example, now has taken us into the test menu. Um, and we can once again navigate that menu structure, go down a level, but at any time if we hit the uh, setup key for example we will go back um, to the last menu that we were in uh, when we were in that setup, um, setup menu itself. So I hit the home key and that takes us back up to the top level. So the main keys to remember are the escape key which takes you up one layer at a time, one level at a time. Um, you will eventually if you hit, keep hitting the escape key, just go back in that setup menu, hit escape, escape. That's actually the top level. But if we hit escape again, we, we always return to the to the main menu, the home menu. Now the test setup menu is um, really where you set up the main operation of the unit. So like, for example, the operational mode, are we going to be in Ethernet mode? Are we going to be in Datacom mode, C3794 mode? So this is really the main... Um, operational mode of the unit and then we can set up the physical ports um, within that mode of operation. The test menu is where we set up the test so once we set the excuse me, once we set the the, um, the mode of operation this is where we can set the test um, within that mode so depending what we set for example Ethernet mode we can set here, for example, in this menu, performance test, sync E test, PTP test. So this, this menu changes depending on the operational mode. Then we have the results menu. Now the results menu is where you go and review the results for tests. And once again, this will vary depending on which test you're running and when you're looking at, for example, port A or port B. Then we have the file menu. This is where we can save configuration files and load configuration files. So once you've configured the unit, you can going for example into the configuration file and either using the internal memory save a file or load a configuration so that you don't have to uh, reconfigure the unit each time you can also use external devices like a USB device to store results, load results or configuration files and then the last one is system now system one uh, system menu is where we can uh, set general settings for the unit um, so, for example, you know, display brightness, um, language, clog setup, etc. Interesting also down the bottom here, remote control. We, we're remote controlling the unit through the Ethernet port, and this is where you can enable it and set a password. 
Um, then we have the network configuration. The network configuration is the configuration of the management port. This is under system settings. We don't uh, configure the test uh, ports here. This is just the management ports. So we can decide whether we're going to enable the interface, whether we're going to use a DHCP address or a fixed IP address, etc. on the management port. Um, we also have system information, which tells us you know, serial number, software version um, of the unit, which is useful. Then we have the licensing tab um, menu where we can go and see uh, what license options we've got enabled on the unit. So these are all the software uh, options that are licensed on the unit. Now, if you've only got certain uh, software options licensed and you want to add software options, this can be done by us providing you with a license key and then you can enter that and then that option becomes becomes enabled. So quite simple to add capability to the unit um, when required. So back up to the the top level, a couple of other functions I just want to quickly show you. There's an LEDs uh, key on the front of the on the front of the unit or we can access it through the remote control um, interface here. And that's where we access the soft keys or the soft LEDs should I say for the unit. So this shows us, depending on the once again the configuration of the unit, we can see uh, the soft LEDs for the test uh, for the uh, test in operation for port A, port B, or the history. Um, we press the LEDs button and we 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 come out of that screen again. But we always have a summary down the left hand side of the display here. Now on the front of the unit as well, we have a run key. This is where we start the test. Uh, when we stop the test, and we can do that through the remote control as well, you can see it's stopped here, or we can um, run the test we see running. Now, interesting, when you set up a test and configure a test sometimes, for example, to transmit data, the unit often will start to transmit data, even though you haven't run the test or started the test. When you press the run button, that's when you actually start to collect statistics or information from that test, and that's what's stored in your in your test result. We also have a vent button on the front of the unit and also in the, in the remote control. This is where we can insert events. So if we set up the unit to set in, insert errors or something in a transmission uh, test, then this is how we can inject those errors or start those events and stop those events. And then the last one I just want to talk about very quickly is the uh, summary key. The summary key is on the front of the unit. This gives you a summary of the test that's, that's underway. And this changes depending um, on what sort of test that, that that we're running at a particular moment. So this is set up for an Ethernet at the moment, so this is showing a summary uh, potentially of um, different flows that we may be sending on Ethernet. Now we press the summary key, um, it takes us back into the main menu structure. So for example, we can always get to it. So for example, if we were looking in results, uh, it's not really set up for a test, but we went into um, bit error rate test, um, alter negotiation, Okay, just showing an auto negotiation results screen here. Anytime I can print the summary button and it takes me in and out of the summary screen and back back to the main menus. And then we're just gonna hit the home button and we're back we're back to the main level. So hopefully that gives you an overview of the the operation of the unit. As I say it's basically based around five main menus, uh, uh, setup test results file and system. Um, we can just enter into those, we just go into sub menus and we can keep going down. As I say, hit escape key, takes you up at a level, home key takes you right back up to the home menu. And when you're in the sub menus, you've also got the ability down the left hand side here to uh, jump between the different menu setups and you'll always go back to where you last were, uh, the last menu that you were at any of those, um, those menus. And, and that's it for now, thank you.